Hi, this is Wayne Mansfield. I've just discovered the absolutely fantastic 20-minute talks available on my iPhone through the uh, uh, iTunes service called TED Talks. And it's just extraordinary the amount of material when you're walking around uh, doing your exercise you can get listening to TED Talks. For example, today I was listening to uh, a guy talk about data and creating uh, data maps so you can see uh, how using these uh, visual images what things mean because I often hear about the amount of money that is spent on various things and think gee I wonder what that really means and a couple of examples that uh, he was talking about today uh, were uh, the amount of spending that the US does on its military and uh, it spends an exceptional amount of money. Uh, but then he compares it to its gross national product and its number of people. And America falls in the top 20 spenders uh, according to those criteria. Uh, he also talks about the size of armies. And uh, most of us think that China has this amazingly large uh, army. Uh, but it turns out that it's compared to the 1.3 billion people, uh, it ranks as the 120th in size per population. Uh, and you know, this is sort of information that you wouldn't get out of a newspaper, or, or in fact you probably wouldn't go and look for, but when you're walking, and it's, and it's interesting stuff. Now, the same talk, uh, not on warmongering, talked about uh, the Iceland volcano and whether uh, it was polluting or not and it talked about the amount of of carbon that it poured into the atmosphere and it said 150,000 tonnes. Now at the same time it compared to the amount of carbon uh, that wasn't poured into the atmosphere by the planes that were forced to sit on the ground that was 250,000 tonnes. So effectively by the volcano spewing all that ash into the air uh, it saved the earth 100,000 tonnes of carbon. Uh, interesting stuff. Now another uh, really motivating story from TED Talks was a young lady called Chastity and she is an opera singer and uh, she was talking exactly one year after she had a double lung heart transplant uh, and as an opera singer she got to the point where she couldn't keep her breath. Her first doctor said your singing's killing you, uh, you should give up singing. And she goes through the story of searching some uh, for a doctor who would help her find an answer to her, uh, her illness. And she finished the 20 minute talk uh, singing an opera and a really tear jerking, um, heart rendering stuff, all from TED Talk. Now apparently there's about 20 or 30 of these talks uh, uh, that are downloaded on a regular basis, uh, also talks from uh, the alternate TED forum which is called TEDx. So if you're looking for motivation, you're looking for knowledge uh, and you've got an iPhone, go to iPods on your iPhone, find TED Talks and download a few. Uh, when I last looked there was over 200 of these talks and you can listen to them or you can watch them as videos. So that's my recommendation in terms of the search of better things uh, to expand your mind and motivate you. Uh, look at TED Talks. Thank you.